Hello and welcome to Conversations on Calabash TV. And today we will meet a group of very inspiring St. Lucians who are trying to make a difference in our society. Today we are joined by members of the Executive Committee of the Alumni Association of Tertiary Educational Institutions on the Morn, otherwise known as A-Team, and what a way to remember them. Let me welcome with us today, Dr. Mary Louise Felix, who is the president, Dr. Gail Archibald, who is the vice president, and Dr. Delia Samuel, who is the public relations officer. All ladies, but we welcome you nonetheless. Thank you for joining us here today. Thank Great. you, thank you for having us. Lovely. So let us start, of course, with context. And as much as I said the name, Dr. Felix is president. Can you explain to us what exactly is a team and tell us about the establishment of this organization? Okay, so thank you again, Natalie, for having us. Um, the a team is, um, or let's say, was envisioned um, sometime in um, 2020. And as the name says, it's an alumni association, and it's an association um, of persons who would have graduated from uh, um, the Money Level College, the Technical College, so Arthur Lewis Community College, um, the Mon Educational Complex. It was basically persons who would have graduated from the tertiary institutions that have been on the Mon although over the years they have gone through different names. And what a team is, is really bringing together all of us who graduated, who attended um, the colleges and who graduated and wish to give back. It is an opportunity, it's bringing persons together so that we can help in the continued development of St. Lucia. As I said, the idea came about um, maybe in around 2020 when the classes of 1982, 80, um, 79, 81, the graduating classes were talking about a reunion. And we started to think of how could we make a difference? What could we do to really make a significant contribution and to say thank you for what we know we have enjoyed by going to the tertiary education institution on the morn. And so a few of us got together as, as actually most of the members of the executive and a few others, and we started to conceptualize and to work on how could we bring people together to give back. And the concept of having the Alumni Association was born. And um, in May of 2021, we were, able to formally launch, well, to formally open the association for membership. And um, by December of 2021, I think it's the 10th of December, we had a special general meeting of the members. And during this meeting, we had an executive was elected. And then we are very happy to say that in January, not just a couple of weeks ago, we were able to be formally registered so that we are now a legal entity um, in St. Lucia. Um, great news there, Dr. Felix. So let me first um, congratulate the class of 1979 to 1981, I think you said, for this initiative, at least for starting that process, um, which I heard you say it's really the importance is, is to give back and actually moving it forward by even getting it registered. So it seems like your main objective is to give back. Is there any other reason you thought it was important to actually establish this organization? Yes. Um, some of you may know that I am a lecturer at the college. And as a lecturer at the college, I am very much aware of the great efforts being made from Sir Arthur Lewis Community College to assist our young people in gaining this tertiary education. But we are also aware of the challenges many of our young people face in being able to meet some of the financial, um, let's say, um, burdens to get into the college. But also many of them are sometimes concerned. They're not sure of their path. And when we look around us, 
the vast majority of professionals in St. Lucia came from Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, which means they have the potential to not only give financially, but to offer advice to our young students. They can serve as mentors. They can serve to provide um, internships when our young people need it. The association can also be a platform where we can also interact and advise and work with um, the management of the college, but other institutions that can also help in giving back and in really assisting in the continued development of St. Lucia. So we hope that um, we will have a very broad mandate, but all of it is going towards working with people at that tertiary level and helping to ensure that all those who have the ability get the opportunity to have a tertiary education and furthermore, once they graduate, have the opportunity to pursue in their career goals. So thank you so much, Dr. Felix, for that information. I will move now to the Public Relations Officer of the organization, Dr. Delia Samuel, to ask her about the eligibility of individuals who can join the association and what is that process like? Thank you, Natalie. So those who are eligible to join are, first of all, persons who attended Sir Arthur Lewis Community College, its predecessor and successor institutions. So in terms of predecessor institutions, we are looking at the Mourn Educational Complex, the St. Lucia A-Level College, Teachers Training College, the Mourn Technical College, the Agricultural College, the St. Lucia School of Nursing. So we're going right back to nine, the 1970s. Other than that, we are also looking at persons who have worked at um, the tertiary educational institution on the Mourn. So we are looking at people like lecturers, part-time lecturers, um, lab assistants, administrative and support staff. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Samuel. It's, it's interesting that it's not only limited to students but it's also limited to individuals who were lecturers or who worked at the college. I think that is really broadening the net. So Dr. Um, Archibald, um, Dr. Felix said that you started back in 2020 with the idea. Can you give us a sense now of what your current membership stands at and even what your target size is? Oh, thank you. And, um, Delia would have mentioned we, we thinking as far back as 1970. So you think, you know, we'd have a membership of thousands, right? But since we, so far, we have um, 59 members. And what that means is they've paid their registration. So now we have 40 who have moved from registration and paid their membership. And so, you, so this is not the... Um, this is not adequate for us because 40 members, financial members from the um, institutions that would have started in 1970 is certainly not adequate. So you can imagine now that we will, with this, with this event that we have now, we will be mounting a serious um, campaign. Um, but for now, we're just at 40 and we know this is not adequate because certainly we'd need to, um, to attract some more from the the institutions that uh, we've just mentioned. Thanks. Can you can you speak a little more to how you have tried to reach out to the alumni and, and what kinds of plans you are looking at in, in terms of gaining uh, more membership? Well, certainly, well, we do have uh, our Facebook page, we do have a website, but we also have, you know, the, the WhatsApp group with our um, members, our alumni, and we are, we are you know, em encouraging our members, well, our alumni, to reach out to, to their network because, you know, everybody has a WhatsApp group with, you know, their, with their cohort that they graduated with. So through that, for now, we're going through with that and getting them to, to, to reach out. But now we're going to be promoting a lot more. Now that we are registered, we're going to be promoting and really going through with a, with a, um, a campaign to reach out to our to our membership and to our alumni. 
Great. Um, let me just reach back to your PRO because I, I think that would be her forte. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Samuel, is the is the Facebook page in the name of the association? How how will people find it? Yes, you just make a search for the Alumni Association of the Tertiary Educational Institutions on the Mon. So that is the Facebook page. And we also have a website. Um, yes, the URL is alumni-team.org. Alumni-team.org. So on the website and on the Facebook page, you can find out so much information about us. Great. And, and can you tell us a little bit more about the process of joining the organization? So if someone is listening to the interview at this time and they would like immediately to join, how would you direct them to do that? So you apply online. You go to our website, again, alumni-teamteim.org, and right there on the homepage, you will see register. So you click on register, and you will be brought to a registration form where you can list your details, and then you pay to become a member. Now, to become a member, you need to pay, first of all, a registration fee of $50, 50 EC dollars, or 20 US dollars, and then you need to pay your membership fees. You can pay your membership fees annually, and the annual fee is $150 EC or 60 US dollars, or you can just become a lifetime member. So in, in becoming a lifetime member, you do not need to pay an annual membership fee. And if you are a lifetime member, then you need to pay 1500 EC dollars or 550 US dollars. Dr. Felix, um, earlier the, you, you spoke to the main reason for forming the association was so that individuals could give back. Uh, are there any other benefits based on the membership that individuals may be able to be entitled to? Yes, um, as an alumni, and uh, um, I could start with maybe our young ones, those who may have graduated in the, in the early years. Um, one of the first things I think which would be the, the, the greatest um, benefit would be their now capacity to link up with other alumni who could provide assistance to them with regards to, as I said, mentorship. We are going to be trying to offer opportunities for internship for persons who recently graduated and are not sure where they exactly they want to go. So they would have some opportunities to, um, you know, intern in different arena. We are hoping that um, our older members are going to truly enjoy um the opportunity because we often hear persons saying this should be done this isn't good enough we need to improve this in our country well now here's the opportunity to be able to take an active role in doing such so that the benefits to the older members is to have a, a platform where we can voice opinions we can come together to make recommendations on issues that we see are pertinent in the country and to the development of the country. We often again hear our persons questioning, is the tertiary education, in this case, I'm now South and Lewis, is it truly meeting the needs that um, of the country as our country grows and develops? Well, guess what? Now we have an opportunity by working with the management and the board of directors um, of the college, because this is something that we'll be working very hard to establish a mutual relationship and working relationship with them, that we can provide guidance. And um, I mean, not talking just in one, but in a wide range, a wide spread, whether it's in agriculture, whether it's in community development, whether it's in the environment. Um, so I think that as a member, you get the opportunity to give back. As young members, you get the opportunity 
to benefit from the wide and range and, in, and a really in significant expertise that is available. And, and maybe I should stress here, when we speak of alumni, we are not only talking about those residents in St. Lucia. We have members and we are targeting all alumni, wherever you reside, the association is for you. So if you're living in the United States, we currently have members in the United States, in the UK, throughout several countries in the Caribbean, I think, and maybe um, Dr. Archibald could, could confirm that we also have some persons up, even out of Africa. We've got quite a wide range and we are hoping that as we intensify our campaign to bring in persons from many different year groups from 1970 up until 2021 and from all different divisions from the colleges that we would have such a wealth of knowledge to offer and such a wealth of knowledge to share amongst alumni that um, the benefits are really, really broad. That sounds like a really powerful network that you are referring to there, Dr. Felix, and I hope our young people take advantage of that. It's, it's great, too, that um, you are looking to have a voice in, in a lot of the issues concerning um, our St. Lucian society. So great, again, that this association is coming together to really give value to our country. I just wanted to follow up on um, the... On the um, what you said earlier about the collaboration with the South Lewis Community College. Can you speak a little more to, to what you envision with that collaboration? Yes, thank you, Natalie. Um, because, of course, our key role is really working with um, students and also persons who also just left the college, then um, but in addition, we would want to be able to provide assistance even to the college with regards to um, support in improving its facilities and identifying some of the programs that it's going to offer and how it um, offers these programs. We have already sought um, an audience. We've already informed the college, even at the very beginning when we were thinking of the association. We had informed them that we wanted um, to form this association and we were looking for their support and guidance as to how they thought we could best serve the, you know, the goals of the college. So we've already uh, um, reached out. What we are hoping is that um, we could be that extra support to the college in areas that it needs support but um, has not been able, have not been able to identify um, assistance. So we are talking about um, forming linkages between the college and the private sector so that we could identify what are the needs of the country going forward and how can the college meet uh, and um, respond to these needs. We want to be able to help students who are having a hard time financially and we are hoping that with the college's assistance and guidance, um, because they're the ones with the students, they're the ones who know who these students are, that we'll be able to um, get instruction from them or guidance from them as to who are the students who desperately need help financially or otherwise. And so that together we can identify how we can best serve these students beyond what the school already does and beyond what the Ministry of Education already does. We also want to be able to assist the college with its resources. Whatever the college already has and what it needs, where we can provide support, we are going to look forward to providing that kind of support. Um, and we are not only talking financial. For example, one of the things we are hoping to do is to form a lecture series where we are going to use our alumni to be able to provide lectures in different capacities in different areas and maybe in areas where the college does not have um, faculty to be able to provide that kind of assistance. So we are really hoping that it's a collaborative effort that the college um, and the alumni association sit around the table on a regular basis and identify what are the needs moving forward and always focused on 
the students and how the college can best prepare the students for the world of work, taking a look at the development processes within the country, what does the country need to take it forward, and how can we ensure that every student who is eligible gets to the college and has a successful co um, college experience, but also on leaving the college, they can best um, place themselves within the world of work um, in St. Lucia. There's so much promise, Dr. Felix, in, in the plans that you have, and um, there's a lot of need for sure. So I'm wondering for, for 2022, are there um, two or three goals that you have in mind in terms of achieving, and, and what are your plans for ensuring that you see those through? Um, Dr. Um, Archibald, would you take this question? Certainly, thank you, Natalie. Um, you know, the association needs resources for it to operate. And certainly um, one revenue stream is, is membership fees, but we can't depend on that alone. And we mentioned um, the burden that the students are facing and COVID-19 has exposed um, the disparity, you know, among the students. And we certainly have to, um, you know, take the lessons from that. So certainly one of our goals is to um, raise funds. I mean, nowadays, well, we don't want to just say funds because it's both financial and non-financial. Mm -hmm. And we know our alumni, I mean, they cut across all industries, all professions, public, private. Um, we have alumni who own their businesses and so on. So we really want to focus on the students. Certainly, as we said, we have students, we have faculty, and we have staff who are alumni. But the students are, would, be our pri would be our priority for now and to help them to, you know, to earn, to, to, to get an education without having the burden of, of thinking about the financial um, stresses. So we would be forming our financial or fundraising or resource um, subcommittee, which is what one of the things the vice president is responsible for and really embarking on mobilizing resources, whether it's financial or non-financial. And, um, you know, uh, Dr. Felix mentioned um, uh, alumni series and lectures. Certainly, you know, we can see how we can, um, you know, add some revenue related to that as well. So our students is really our priority, one of our main priorities, you know, for 2022, because we don't want, as we say, we don't want anyone left behind. Thank you, Nat. Thank you so much, um, Dr. Felix. Sorry, Dr. Archibald. Um, and Dr. Dr. Samuel, so there are short-term and, and long-term goals. How can you um, ensure that you sort of encompass so many um, generations almost of, of alumni for them to be able to contribute to, to these endeavors? Oh, wow. So basically, Natalie, we really need to reach out. We need to reach out to as many people as possible to ensure that they can contribute. Now, what we are in the process of forming are subcommittees. So we have subcommittees of mentoring. We have a subcommittee of fundraising. We may have one for infrastructure. Um, we may have one for scholarship and bursaries. And so we would get alumni, a few alumni on these subcommittees, and they in turn will target people from around the world. I mean, people who can give um, on these particular areas. And so that will enable to encompass all of the areas that we want to focus on. And Natalie, we, we really want to have an advertising campaign, you know, first to target these people and bring them into the fold. We have to have a fruitful advertising campaign, make the association visible, attract people. So, for example, what we're doing right now, the interview. And I am so grateful. I am so grateful to you, to Calabash TV for having us on so that we can tell people what we are about. So we want to do more of that. We want um, to have advertising through the media also. Listen, the media outlets, there are so many alumni within these outlets. 
And so we are hoping that they can come on board and promote us. So we want to do a lots of campaigning through social media, through our website. Just let the public know what we are doing and get them on board. Great. And I'm sure you will get a lot of assistance with that because it is all positive. So I think we have we have um, really gone through from the start of the organization all the way to what your, your plans are. Are there any final words or parting words that you want to leave, particularly the alumni with? <laughs> yeah. Um, but maybe each of us can say a few. I just want to really encourage all alumni to come on board and to become a member of the association. Um, I know lots of us are busy, so some people would be like, do I have the time? And um, if we've got thousands, then all we need is a little bit from each person. I could also mention that one of the things we will be giving people an opportunity to do is to simply to donate. That if you um, are maybe bogged down that you are a member of too many organizations already, we will have um, provide an opportunity for, sim for people to simply say, I cannot give of time or talent, but I can give, you know, of treasure. But we also do need the time and the talent. So we're really encouraging everyone. And I know that maybe 90% of the people who sit see this interview would be eligible to become a member. So we are looking forward to lots of persons signing up. Thanks. Dr. Archibald? Thank you, Natalie. Certainly when we started off, um, you introduced us as you know an association, an organization that wants to make a difference in, in the society in our country. So it is through the students and the association wants to be seen not just as a nonprofit organization, help, you know, mobilizing resources and providing bursaries um, and having you know social networking. But we also want to be involved in national policy for education as well. And as a an entity as an association, we can do that. When the, you know, when the government issues an education policy, we want to give, look at it and give feedback, and ensure that you know the the education system and the demand for for skills in the country, you know, come together because that's important. You can you, your education system must reflect what you know the economy and society is demanding. So we want to play that role as well. Thank you. Great. And let's close off with the PRO, Dr. Samuel, to make that final pitch. Yes, I want to say something to those people who have not joined us yet and who are wondering, should I join or should I not? Let me just say to you, it is time to leverage your legacy. You want to see St. Lucia develop? Then it is time to touch a life and give back. You know, we who have attended the tertiary education institution on the morn. Think of the impact that institution had on your life. The value of the education that you have received. It was like a stepping stone to what you are now, to what we are now. I attended A-level college. I attended um, the Division of Teacher Education. and I was also a mathematics lecturer. I have to say that the lessons that I learned at that institution have made me into who I am today, a mathematics professor and the person that I have developed into being. Let me just say this, and we have said this many times in this interview, the college is in desperate need of help. Not only because of the structure, we know that, but the students, we have said that again and again, the students need our help. I want you to picture this. Picture a student who had a vision, who has a vision and is now attending Sir Arthur Lewis Community College because they want to be educated, because they have some career goals. But that student cannot pay the tuition. They cannot pay for the books to study. In this era of online learning, they cannot pay for a device. They have no internet connection. So therefore, the student withdraws. The student drops out. A promising education is now in ruins. That hurts my heart. 
And if you know that you are in a position to help that student to meet the cost, I implore you to please come on board and help. Some of us may say, oh, I had a bad experience at that college, at that institution. I don't want to give back. Listen, acknowledge the bad experience, yes. Good and bad experiences are both important for developing um, the institution and developing our nations. So acknowledge that institution, you, the, the, the experience, sorry. You know what worked and what did not work. So now you can be a voice for those students who themselves are having a bad experience. You can mentor. We are now in different disciplines, in different fields where we can give back. Our students need mentors. They need people to aspire to. I wish I had that when I was attending the college. They need um, people to aspire to, people to emulate, people to be their voice, people to get advice from, people to lean on. So my final word, let's leverage our legacy. Let's give back. Let's give back. Thank you, Dr. Samuel. And you can start that process by visiting the website alumni-teim.org and register for the Alumni Association of Tertiary Educational Institutions on the Mon. We have been speaking with three executive members of that association, Dr. Mary Louise Felix, who is the president, Dr. Gail Archibald, vice president, and Dr. Delia Samuels, public relations officer. Thank you so much, ladies, for joining us today. And I wish you all the best with the organization. And as an alum, I will be signing up. Thank you so much. Thank you.